Hello children, I am your teacher from grade 4 and today we are going to learn the second part of the earth and sky lesson. We are going to discuss about pinhole camera, wind vane, rain, how do the day and night occur and natural disasters. Okay, let's start with the pinhole camera. This shows how all cameras worked. This also demonstrates how our eyes work too. To make a pinhole camera, you need two empty boxes of toothpaste in different sizes, a tissue paper, a black paper, a pin, glue and a pair of scissors. First, take the big toothpaste box and remove its lids. Shorten the length of the box if needed. Cover one side with the black paper and poke a hole at the exact center. Then take the small toothpaste box and remove its lids. Cover one side with tissue paper. Insert the small toothpaste box where the tissue paper is into the large one and look at an object which is in the light. Focus your pinhole camera by sliding the small toothpaste box back and forth till you see the upside down reflection of your object. Wind Wind The wind is moving air. To learn about the direction of the wind, we use the equipment called Wind Wind. To make a Wind Wind, you need a straw, pins, outer barrel of a pen, a stand, a cork and a cardboard. First, draw a triangle and a shape of an arrow tail on the cardboard and cut it out. Cut a small slit about 1 cm at each end of the straw. Stick them into the slots of the straw to make an arrow. Put a pin through the center of the straw. Fix the barrel of the pen onto the stand with a cork and make sure it is not shaking. Keep this wind vane outside when the wind blows and observe the direction of the wind. Rain One of the important ways of getting water is rain. We can collect and use rain water in many ways. King Parakrambahu once said, not even a single drop of water that comes from the rain must flow into the ocean without being useful to man. So, what it means is, we can use rain water without wasting it. Some of the uses are, build lakes and anicuts to use in agriculture. Collect water into tanks and generate power. Collect water into tanks in homes for other daily purposes. When the rain falls, the land gets wet and muddy. The soil absorbs the rain water and collects them as groundwater. Some of it is absorbed by the roots of the plants. To observe what happens when it rains, you can go outside, fill some water into a plastic bottle in which there are several holes at the bottom and hold it for a few minutes. You will see how the water gets absorbed by the soil. Now let's see how do the day and night occur using a simple experiment. You need a torch which works as the sun a globe which represents the earth. Place the globe in a dark place covered with clothes or boards and hold a torch beside. It is the daytime for the countries on the globe which are lightened by the torch while it is the night time for the countries that are in the dark. That means earth's rotation on its own axis goes day and night. Natural disasters. A natural event such as a flood, an earthquake 
or a hurricane that causes great damage or loss of life is known as a natural disaster. Now let's see few natural disasters and their damage, reasons to occur, changes that happen before in the nature and safety or preventive measures. Now first we'll discuss about flood. Flood causes loss of life and property. It also spread diseases and cause infrastructural damage. The reasons to occur flood are heavy rains, overflowing rivers, broken dams, rapid melting of snow or ice. The changes that happen in the nature before the disaster are intense rainfall, water level of rivers increase rapidly. To prevent this, you should grow trees, move to secure places or avoid walking in the areas affected by floods. Tsunami Tsunami also causes loss of lives and property and reasons to occur are sudden movements happen under the sea, earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. The changes that happen before the disaster are animals run around, birds fly in the air, waters may recede from the coast exposing the ocean floor or abnormal ocean activity like a wall of water. The preventive measures are we should increase coastal vegetation barriers. Don't go to the beach if the ocean floor is unusually exposed. Evacuate as fast as you can. Move until you are either 2 miles away from the sea or 100 feet above the sea level. Earthquakes Earthquakes caused by tectonic movements in the Earth's crust. It also causes loss of lives and property damage. You can see an unusual animal behavior before it happens. To prevent this, we should build earthquake resistant buildings, we should educate people, we should get away from glass, large furniture and other hazards if possible. Drop onto your hands and knees under a sturdy table or a desk. Earth slips. Earth slips caused by heavy rains. You could see springs in the areas that are not usually wet or new cracks or unusual bulges in the ground. This causes loss of lives and property. So you should not build houses under slopes and avoid hillside roads during heavy rains. We should stay alert and awake. Try to answer the following questions. Why do we use the wind vane? What are the uses of the rain? What causes day and night? State four natural disasters. Thank you for listening children. See you again with another lesson. Until then, stay safe.